Welcome back to the channel guys here, Drew Elia here with another video for you. Uh, this time I'm bringing you a company that I truly believe in, that uh, I think is absolutely fantastic, Tread Lights. So when it comes to safety, not only does protection to yourself, helmets, knee pads, elbow pads, uh, protective armor, does that help? But also what helps is being seen by other people around you. With the Shred Lights here, there's so many advantages that you can actually be seen and see at night with them. From different options like the SL300 to the SL1000, the R1, they are all fantastic options to not only be seen by other people, but help you illuminate the road at night. So just a couple of really cool important features that to go over with the SL300 here is one, it is 100% waterproof. Uh, it has a USB-C charging uh, and the patented system from Shred Lights is the S-mount lock, this guy right here. So this just allows you to be able to click this into literally everything from these skateboard mounts that are angled, really cool GoPro mounts that you can clip onto things like your glove or the front of your board. GoPro mounts that allow you to also just connect straight up to your thing with a little bit of adhesive tape stuck to there and that allows you to stick it to your board. Helmet, top your one wheel, EUC, the front of your bike. There's a whole mess of different applications that Tread Lights allows you to connect these things to. Just know that when you click this into the S-Lock mount, it is absolutely secure and it really is pretty hard to actually get it to fall out there. It does come with a one-year warranty from Shred Lights, which is absolutely fantastic that they stand behind the product that much. Then in case it gets damaged, broken, or anything like that, you can give their customer service a shout out and they'll be able to fix you up in that sense. Another great thing with the S-Mount lock is that you're able to just have multiple different locks on multiple different boards and you're able to just snap them in. So whether you have a one wheel, whether you have an e-bike, whether you have a scooter, ESC, e-skate, you're able to just snap it in, bring it to the next one, snap it in, go to the next ride, snap it in. This is a really cool feature. I'm just gonna bring this up because I spent a bunch of money on a bunch of different uh, knockoff from Amazon. And this one is like a shred light knockoff. It's literally called a bicycle light. I don't even know what the looms were or anything like that. But I can't even show you the brightness on this one because it just stopped working. I bought two of these before I even thought about going to shred lights because I thought I was gonna save myself some money. Uh, clearly they don't work. Manufacturer wouldn't get back to me. It was just kind of a waste of money. So I lost myself 25 bucks there and could have easily went ahead and bought itself the SL300 or uh, the SL1000 and saved myself some time and effort. One of the other really cool things about Shred Lights is that it just brings you together at night. So we actually got to meet up with two really cool guys, uh, Kyle and Bill, and they had Shred Lights. Uh, they had the SLFX, the brand new SLFX, and they also had the SL300s and the R1s as well too. The cool part about this is when I met up with them, uh, they had them mounted in different places. So I mount mine on top of my board and Bill mounted his on the bottom of his board. Now you can see here in this video that there's a couple different benefits to that and also some backlashes to that. The benefit is that maybe aesthetically pleasing that it's below the deck there and it's out of sight, out of mind, so it's not just kind of uh, in your way there. But uh, you can see here that with just the one top mounted SL300 and the one top mounted SLR1, it allowed me to get a much better, clearer vision across the pavement here versus the bottom mounted versions. So here in this clip, you can see on the left hand side is the top mounted single SL300 and the top mounted single SLR1 on the back there. The SL1000 is in the middle there and the dual undermounted SL300s top mounted R1s are in the back there. Now, as it comes down here, you can see a much clearer picture of how far and how sharp these two showcase here. So right here, you can see the top mounted SL300 along with the top mounted SLR1 it gives a much sharper and further throw than the both bottom mounted on the other board there too. You can also see that the handheld SL1000 is absolutely a beast and it's just shining across the entire parking lot. It does have a different color to it, almost like a yellower tint to it versus the SL300s do have a much wider look to them. At 300 looms, it's definitely enough to be seen and, and make sure you can see in front of you. But the SL1000 being handheld over a period of time does get warm in the hands. And now guys, I really wanna thank you for coming to the channel and checking this out. Uh, it's because of you guys that I do get to work with partners like this and partner up with them. Leave a comment down below and let me know what product you want me to feature on the channel next, whether it be a board, a helmet, anything along the lines that way. I have more stuff coming down the pipe here, so please stay tuned. Now, I do have an affiliate link down below. If you click on that, click on there and type in Drew10, you save yourself 10%. I do get a little kickback there as well. It helps the channel greatly and allows me to uh, showcase more stuff like this.